Hello and welcome to another Writerly Witterings and today we're talking about a strange package that arrived in the mail. Wonder what this could be? Well actually I know what it is because I've already opened it but you're probably wondering so let's go and have a look. So here we go. I allowed people to hear over the weekend that I'd received a note from the post office or parcel force saying I had to pay some money for something coming in the mail. I didn't know what it was. So for those of you who are interested, yes, I did pay the money and here it is. And I suppose now you want to see what's inside, don't you? Well, oddly enough, so do I. Let's find out. be an interesting just move my sketch aside do you like that it's a nice little picture of a cottage I'm going to turn that into a painting when I get time but for today I don't know if I'm gonna have time right so one opened package Chiara Just received a package. We found. Right. So that's what this is. It's a special Kiara pen from VP Pens. Thank you very much, VP Pens. And it's a pen and an ink cartridge. Nice container of ink that hasn't leaked. Makes a nice change getting a container that doesn't leak. Wow. Nice pen, fine nib. And it's a simple piston filler. So put it in the ink like that. Suck it up like that. Nice positive click when you get to the top. That's different. I like that. So here is the pen. First of all, as you can see, it is a very pleasant demonstrator style. It has very good metal clip. Two things I really like about it. It has a quite a smooth entry, so trying to slip it onto a pocket or anything is going to be very easy. In fact, I've tried that and it is very easy. It's firm enough that it will grip a shirt and stay in place. That's good. The actual cap itself is pretty uninteresting to be honest. There's nothing much there to say. It's just a slightly rounded cap with a hole in the middle. The reason for the hole in the middle is that when you look inside, this I don't know if you'll be able to see, but let's just lift it right up. Phillips screw right in the middle. So I assume that that's just a hole that the Phillips screw would um, project out of if it was any longer. Could be wrong, just my guess. Cap, parallel sided, screw thread, really nothing much else you can say about that. Does it post? Does it ever? Posts nice and firmly. And then the pen won't roll off your desk. Do I like it posted? No, of course I don't. I don't like any pen posted, as you will know if you've been watching my videos. What is a really nice feature is as you start to move the piston, there's a distinct click. And when you wind the piston back up, likewise a click. No idea how they do that, but it's a very nice feature. Now, there is... Focus, please, focus, come along. There's a nice O-ring here, so that when it's got the cap on, 
it won't leak ink all over your pocket. Like it. It has a nib which is remarkably similar to a Lamy nib. No idea if it is, but it looks very similar and it has the same sort of bent edge to hold it in place and so on. It fits inside the section there very neatly and I haven't figured out yet how to get it out. It could just be a push fit, it might be a straight pull out, it could be screwed in. What is slightly odd is that the section itself shows up as slightly blue compared to the main barrel. Don't know why that is, I assume it's because if we look at the back of the nib the feed itself is a different type of plastic. I suspect that it's a slightly bluish plastic which gives this slightly blue tinge to the section here. The section has three cutouts like a Lamy so that you can hold it with it resting forefinger thumb and second finger which is a nice enough grip. My only trouble is I prefer to have a slightly fatter section so I would probably hold it back here but to be honest that's not an issue and it feels really quite nice. What else to say? Standard piston filler as I said before so you can see the piston winds all the way down, winds all the way back, that's how you load it with ink. It has a large reservoir. I don't know how much ink it will actually hold but that's a significant quantity. What is rather nice, I'm going to bring it up close here in the hope that it will show and focus. It seems to be focusing. So you can see here that it shows a lovely little... Now I can't think what on earth the spiral... Oh, it's a spiral. Yes, spiral of plastic, which you can see there all the time as you're winding the piston up or down. The actual guiding rod for the piston is flat with spiral angled cuts either side, which I think you can probably see there. But this section seems to be a spiral cut inside a cylinder, which pulls it up and down. And I think that looks rather nice. Only a minor thing. but. Yeah, this is a pen that would appeal to first time users of pens who really like the idea of a demonstrator but can't really afford a Pelican 205 or 805 or whatever it might be. And that's understandable because Pelicans are expensive. Let's not be silly. So let's see how it works. I'm going to use today some grey ink because I haven't used my Mont Blanc grey for a while. So, here we go Mont Blanc ink, and it is grey. Imaginative title. What shall we call this grey coloured ink? Oh, I don't know. Let's call it grey. Oh, that's imaginative. Yeah. Here we go. Right, so stick it in, turn the handle, turn the knob rather, and all of a sudden you've got a whole bunch of delicious grey ink sloshing around. Now, as you can see, this is my working book for this week. I do like the feel of that. It's got a nice balance to it. Very fine nib indeed. Ah. 
I just hit my head on the lamp overhead. That feels good. That does feel good. No line variation at all, I don't think. No, nothing whatsoever. Oh, and you could you could say that that writing very lightly compared with writing hard. I suppose it's showing up a little bit darker, a little bit thicker. That feels good. That does feel good. No line variation at all, I don't think. No, nothing whatsoever. Oh, and you could, you could say that that writing very lightly compared with Writing hard. I suppose it's showing up a little bit darker, a little bit thicker, but really is very nothing. Writing reverse. Does work. It would probably be better... with black or something darker. All in all, very nice. Just thinking about it though, what it compares, or how it compares with alternative. This is a Caveco Sport. And this is possibly even thinner, even finer line, so... Maybe the Caveco's even finer. It is more fine, even, than this. This is definitely a very good pen, and I can see this being very useful for me when I'm going out and doing sketches or drawings because that nib is fine enough that I can use it for pretty fine simple artwork and it has got a massive reservoir. What would it compare with? Well the obvious comparison would be a Twisby I think. Now here we've got a Twisby Eco it has very similar build. The section does not have the three cutouts. That's a matter of personal taste as to whether you prefer them or not. Personally, I can imagine for sketching, I would be using the pen much more freehand like that possibly even occasionally like that. And actually those three sections make it very practical for that. So that's something I think that's a positive for it. I am quite fond of my Twisby. I don't really like the, uh, the alternative plastic that's inside there that hides the nib. I know it's there for a purpose. It's supposed to stop additional leakage from the nib, I think. But 
Having it completely clear I think is just a little bit more appealing. One of those things that's very much personal taste. I do like that clip. The Twisby to me, the clip just looks a little bit cheap. A little bit cheap and nasty. I think that clip is more appealing. Uh, it's a bit different having that little recess thing. Actually what I do find It'll look a bit odd, but you've got the red inner part, and then there's the outer plastic clear plastic and an inner clear plastic. And I find that and I've got to try to show this, won't be so easy, but you can probably, I think, just see dirt accumulates between those two gaps, which is a source of intense irritation to me because <laughs> I am a pathetic sort of a person. Let's just move this back into focus again. So just here you can probably see bits of dust, grit, grime and grotty stuff stuck in there which is a bit of a pain. You won't at least get that. This will retain its look I think. I think that's really rather nice. I, I like that. The balance is good enough. It'll fit in my shirt pocket. Yes it will. The clip works extremely well and it's always good to see ink sloshing around, isn't it? So there you have it. The Chiara from VP Pens. I'll put a link in the bottom so you're aware of it. Um, this one cost me 25 quid, paying for all the import duties and everything. So, hey ho, there you go. It's one of the risks of doing reviews, is every now and again something comes through and it costs you money to get it. Never mind. Thanks a lot to VP Pens for this. Really rather delightful new pen. There is something about this. It just has a, a, a feeling of style that I really rather like and I'm looking forward to testing it on some paper. Still, thanks a lot for watching. Hope that was interesting. Lots more coming up soon, actually. We've got some interesting things to uh, show you. So hopefully that'll be worth waiting for. For now, thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, go to the link at the bottom, which takes you through to the Patreon account. Apart from that, comments will be answered quickly. There's also the like it and share it and the subscribe button. If you hit all of them and then hit the notification, you'll, the bell, that is, you'll be told when there's a new video coming up. And that's always worthwhile, isn't it? Hit the subscribe button because that means that my videos move further up on the algorithms within YouTube. And then with luck, I'll get millions and millions of followers and I'll get even more pens to play with. Wouldn't that be fun? Yes. I'm going back to my coffee now. You can run along now. Hmm. Sketching. Run along now. Go away.